Hi, and welcome back. In this episode, we're building a beam that spans across the living room and provides a crucial reinforcement required to hold up the second floor. This is one of the final projects needed to finish up all the framing for the ground floor, a milestone that we're slowly getting closer to with the passage of each episode. Usually, a beam spans the distance between two posts. However, at least in the design for this house, there aren't really posts to span between. So instead, to work around this problem, the designers placed the main distance spanning beam so that it started at the far wall, and on the other end had to intersect the second, larger beam, which then itself had posts to transfer the load down to the first floor. And also, besides being a clever way to solve the problem, it adds an architectural feature to the room that looks pretty cool. The plans don't really go into detail in this beam at all, but luckily I was able to jot down some notes when I visited the real version of the house earlier in the year. They aren't all that pretty, but given that the structure has a decent number of angles and otherwise important dimensions, I'm glad I have these to work from. Let's get started!
I'm pretty satisfied with this beam. It looks pretty similar to what I had in mind when I started, and roughly is put together in the correct fashion. It's covered with a thin layer of 1 8 inch scale plywood and has molding around all the convex joints. Speaking of, this molding was quite difficult to work with. I made it by ripping down some scale 2x4s off camera. It had a habit of splintering down its length whenever I'd try to cross cut it. I think I need to either find a better material to make this out of, or probably more ideally, find a different process altogether. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching!